It was less than 72 hours ago that the Chattanooga women cut down the nets at McKenzie Arena and celebrated their 23rd SOCON regular season championship. But there wasn't a whole lot of time for the team to continue that party with a tough UNCG team coming to town. Could the mock stay perfect in conference play and win their 13th straight game? It was senior night for both Jada Gwynn and Secret Olaf Stodder. Tie game late in the first. Addie Grace Porter gets the ball to Kaya Ellis Aldez. The freshman knocks down the three and gives Chattanooga the lead. Carson Murphy was shooting the ball well early. Her triple puts the mocks up by six early in the second. Later in the quarter, now Raven Thompson finds Secret Olaf Stodder. Number five puts it up and in plus. She draws the foul. Chattanooga takes a 33-25 lead into the locker room and they're up 12 late in the third. But the Spartans, they start to chip away in the fourth. Kelly Boyle lets it fly from the top of the key. UNCG trailing by just three. Then it's Jade Gamble's turn. No gamble on this one. That's a pretty perfect shot, and it puts the Spartans in front by three. The Mocs try their best to cut the deficit, so they give the ball to who else? Jada Gwynn. She knocks down the three with just 1.8 seconds to go. But Chattanooga simply runs out of time. UNCG wins it 68 to 64, handing the Mocs their first SOCON loss of the year. Chattanooga drops their first game since December 21st and their first home game since their matchup with Marshall all the way back on November 12th. I thought they just had a will to win. You know, it looked like maybe we got tired and expected things were just going to fall in our lap. Like, in a sense, things have done, right? Uh, now we've made some plays, but it was almost like, oh, it'll be okay. Uh, and Greensboro said, no, -uh, we're going to go make plays. I thought we had a couple stops where they just um, out hustled us to loose balls or 50 50 balls on offensive rebounds that didn't allow us to get any momentum. So, in a sense, I thought they just out toughed us down the stretch. So a tough end to senior night, but the Mocs still have two more games before Asheville. They will visit Furman on Thursday before heading to Wofford next Saturday.